Hello, welcome to yet another video on Power BI. In this video, we're going to talk about scatter plot and bubble charts. So to discuss this, let's move to Power BI desktop. So this is how your scatter plot looks like. If you look into this uh, plot and its various ingredients, you will see we have used the India population data and on the x-axis we have the literacy and on the y-axis we have sex ratio. We've also added uh, values uh, as district and under the legend we have regions to provide different colors to these small uh, markers. If we add another dimension to this scatter plot wherein we represent the size of each marker or circle with some other numeric value population in this case then we get a bubble chart wherein each bubble or the size of the bubble represents the proportion of population uh, for that bubble. So this way we also add extra dimension to the scatter plot. Now to demonstrate this, let's uh, try to build it from scratch. So let's first try to bring build a scatter plot. We bring in the canvas for scatter plot here, and then we populate this chart using literacy and sex ratio. So here we get a single bubble because by default Power BI aggregates the value typically the numeric values together. Now we have to tell Power BI that we need to split this across a specific field, in this case districts. So when I bring districts to values, these fields get uh, disaggregated across the districts. We can also add a color based on regions by bringing regions to the le legend and then we have different regions represented by different colors. Further, we can add population to size. So if I bring population to size, so we see each uh, circle now is showing the size depending on the population it represents. We can further enhance the look and feel of this, uh, these circles by adding borders and doing further change in color and stuff. So which we will discuss in the formatting section. But this is how you get a bubble chart out of a scatter plot. So in short, this is your scatter plot and this is a bubble chart. And we use scatter plot to compare two numeric fields or to do a relationship analysis between two fields. So that was all on the scatter plot and bubble chart video. If you like our video, do subscribe, comment, and like our channel. Thank you so much. This is Manu from Climatic Data Labs.